Tutorial 2. Arrange, save and email loops. In the last video, we learned how to create loops and scroll them. Now, let me show you how I can arrange my loop in a logical way, save it for future use and even email it. I can arrange my windows by dragging them around the desktop, but let me show you a better way. First, I open the strip. If I need a bigger view of my windows, I can resize the strip by clicking on the bottom edge and dragging it down or up. Now, in the strip, I can arrange my windows according to priority by simply dragging and dropping thumbnails where I want them. Then, I click on the Arrange button and it neatly aligns them. It's that simple. I'm not ready to buy my tickets yet, so I'd like to save this collection of windows in my loop so that I can come back to these sites and check prices. To save, I'll go to the strip and click on the Save menu. I see a list of my previously saved loops. I enter a loop name in the field. Let's call it Airfare Loop and click on Save. To close it, I click on Close. Notice that all my windows close with one click. Later, when I want to check prices again, I can open Airfare Loop by clicking on Open. First, I preview my loops to make sure it's the one I want. The yellow background indicates that what I'm seeing in the loop is a preview. This is the one I want, so I click Open. Watch. Every site in my loop launches and is arranged in the order in which I saved them. Last, I want to share these sites with my friend in Chicago so he can buy tickets too. So, I'm going to email this loop to him. I click on the envelope icon on the strip which launches my email program. I type in his address and press send. When my friend opens it, he can download Airfare Loop as an attachment. Since he has Desk Loops too, it will open just like it did on my desktop. Try Desk Loops today, share it with a friend and see how it can make your computing experience faster, easier and a lot more fun.